Thank you, Mason, and thank you to the Critics' Choice Association for this supremely meaningful recognition. I'm so proud to accept this award, and I want to give a huge shout out to the entire Quantum Leap family. It was an honor to contribute to the legacy of a show I remember watching as a kid. We taught a whole new generation of fans about empathy over the last two years, in a time when we all need a little more empathy, perhaps now more than ever. In a moment when our identities, our bodies, our livelihoods, and our young people's rights to healthcare, school safety, and participation in social life are under legislative attack, it is essential to remind folks that we, as trans people, have always been here, and we're not going anywhere. And while the inflammatory and divisive talking points born of conservative think tanks might have people believing that our existence is a trend or a threat, the human stories born of our experiences, resurrected from our histories and brought forth in our writers' rooms and screenplays and crowdfunded albums, open mics, play scripts, and solo shows speak truth to that power. And in doing so, we change hearts and minds and we save the lives of young people. So this is what we mean when we say representation matters. And we stand on the shoulders of every social movement that has used storytelling to change culture before us. But we cannot do it alone. Ask yourselves, what am I doing to actively carve out space for the telling of trans stories, to hold doors open for the advancement of trans creators, to uplift trans voices and to center trans lives and trans liberation. Because as cute as this party is, and it's really cute, <laughs> and as much as I deeply appreciate this award, and I do, from the bottom of my heart, I promise you, it's not enough. Thank you.